Hello everyone, welcome to Witticine Medicine. This is another episode for MRCS and other competitive exams such as USMLE and the topic for today is Disorder of Pigmentation. Hypopigmentation and hyperpigmentation are two disorders of pigmentation and here we will discuss about hypopigmentation. First topic is vitiligo or vitiligo. It results from absence of functional melanocytes and is often associated with autoimmune conditions such as pernicious anemia, thyroid disorders and Addison's disease and in about 20% of cases there is positive family history. Characteristic lesion of vitiligo presence with well-defined milky white depigmented macules which is often distributed on areas of hands, wrist, knees, neck and mouth. Not all depigmented lesions are vitiligo. It is described by a special term called leukoderma, which includes all depigmented lesions of the skin resulting from vitiligo, inflammatory skin disease such as lupus vulgaris, or from chemicals such as monobenzyl ether of hydroquinone. Now, management. It can be done with help of phototherapy using UVB rays, sorelins, topical steroids, and systemic steroids in case of rapidly progressive vitiligo. Another topic for today is albinism which has autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. It occurs as a result of mutation in one of the seven genes, OCA1 to OCA7, where OCA stands for oculocutaneous albinism. As a result of this mutation, there is congenital defect in tyrosinase enzyme of melanin synthesis pathway, which results in failure of melanin synthesis, such that there is lack of skin and eye color. People with albinism are at increased risk of carcinomas of skin, and all they need to do is avoid exposure to sun as there is no end recognized chemotherapy for albinism. Another disorder of hyperpigmentation is pityriasis versicolor, which is caused by a type of ist called malassezia. This disorder is characterized by small depigmented macules, which may turn scaly. Macules later may grow and become confident to form a larger patch. The lesions are most commonly seen on back, chest, upper arms and neck. Management can be done with help of antifungals such as ketoconazole. Okay, this is the end and next video will be on hyperpigmentation disorders. Till then, stay tuned with us. Please subscribe our channel and don't forget to give it a like or comment or share.